What's going on, guys? This is your boy Project Ice, and I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last episode, we it took four, five tries, but we did finally defeated Melia. Even in normal mode, she's difficult to defeat. Like, my goodness, I had to cheese it. <laughs> I had to use uh, healing items, revives, um, the revival herbs, and the power of yawn. <laughs> that never would have worked in intense mode. I would have gotten it. What one Pokemon at best, and that would have been it. All right, so first things first, let's see what uh, Alexandra has to say. Hello, my friend, are you ready to begin training? Make sure you're ready, and let's begin. My name is Aaron. I don't have a last name. I don't have a family either, or at least that used to be the case. Today is November 1st. Per the recommendation of Elita and Melia, I have become the group's tactician. I'm honored to receive this position. I won't take it lightly. As a way to review my work, I've decided to record our progress. We're all strong in our own right, but we lack true synergy and discipline. That's what Damien confided with me anyway. Regardless, I won't let everyone down. Day 3, a latest departure. After the events of Ecclesia, Elita never did get the chance to bathe in the pyramid's water. An important part of Elita's growth lies within unlocking the final note of her true self. So it was on this day that I decided to send Elita off on her own, as she had originally intended. We estimate her journey taking a little bit over a week. Day 8, Shen's training. Today was the day that Damien and I would assess Shen's capabilities and further them. I don't know what Damien meant by this, but in hindsight it was obvious. Shen was expected to be in the training room first thing. Shen, I've been thinking. Do you think Narcissa will notice how much I've changed? Back then I was so aggressive and harsh on her. She saw right through me and knew I was on the wrong path. Talk to her next time. Yeah, I think if Narcissa and I spoke over some tea, everything would work out. When I was younger, I used to visit her all the time and help her with the small things like brewing tea. When we get a moment of rest, I should brew us both a cup. Thank you for cheering me up earlier. I feel so much better. I'll do what I can to lift up your spirits too. People seem to oh. Still trying to figure out what that room is for. Let's save the game. See what they have for me. Ah, Shen, you made it just in time. Are you excited to train? I'm pumped. Glad to hear it. Your enthusiasm will benefit your progress greatly. As well as mine, of course. I'm not going to stand here and pretend I don't need work as well. We all need work. That's why we're here. Right. So we're all aware of your power, yada yada. You've heard this all before, but what if we brought your power up a notch? Today we're going to introduce Mega Evolution to you. Yes! Surprised? Alexandra had this all settled for you yesterday. It wasn't easy obtaining these rings, but they're here. I'm sure you're already familiar with Mega Evolution, so I'll save you the details. Oops, I'm not late, right? No, in fact, you're just in time. To keep things short, we're going to have you both try Mega Evolution. Benham, have you ever messed around with Mega Evolution? Nah, but I remember this gym leader from Kalos using it on live television for some tournament. But other than that, I don't know anything. You'll learn right now. Both of you get prepared. Right. I'm good to go. Not so fast. You won't be using your teams for this. You've constructed a practice set for both of you to use, understood? Oh, I knew that. We'll just see how well you're able to handle Mega Evolution, whenever you're ready. Well, don't keep us waiting. Er, uh, I hope this goes well. I haven't been feeling like battling recently. You'll probably win anyways, but that's fine. Here, these are yours, Subaru. And you'll use these. Thanks. Not only will I use this battle as a way to grasp your battle style, but as a way to see if you're capable of handling Megas. 
Either way, winning doesn't matter. It's all about your progress. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Shen, don't hold back. I'm going to win this one. Last time I battled you, you had pur you had purple hair. Oh. So the Manectite, the Rindo Berry, and Leftovers. Don't burn me. Okay, good. Get that that tree out. Get that Hondo out of here. Get the attack drop. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Damn, I'm not used to these mods, but neither are you, so you did well. Uh, I mean, I lost so many times to you that there's really not much to say. GG, I guess. You both still did well, especially with teams you're not familiar with. Agreed, it was so high in display. I'll be taking those, along with the Mega Ring. No way, you get it back. Probably. <laughs> okay. I think that was enough to give me a feel of both styles of combat. Shen holds a style I still can't really put a word on. Eccentric? It's effective at least. Venom is strong, but I think she's lacking something. Yeah, I've been I've kinda of been off lately. Not really into it. This isn't some kind of cool 
hangout session, Venom. Do you under do you think this is some kind of joke? I never said it was a joke. All I said was that I've been feeling off. Don't need to blow up in my face over something like that. I'm out of here. Sorry, Shen. Thanks for the battle. We could chill out later or something. Can you chill? Control your temper. Yeah, my bad. Nice job today, Shen. We'll resume the session later. Somewhere off the coast of Terajuma Island. Oh, wow. Haven't heard that name in a long time. Is everything ready to go? We're doing some pressure checks, but we should re be ready shortly. You're awfully quiet. A loss of words? Loss for words, perhaps? I order you to speak. What do you want from me? To say anything. Are you seasick or something? No, I'm just... Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, please, save me that drivel. You told me to speak, so I did. What are you even hoping to accomplish with this? I don't know if you're forgetful or just stupid. You were at the meeting where I presented this way back when. You should know exactly what this will accomplish. I didn't forget. All those people will be... Since when did you... When, since when did you become... Begin to have any semblance of empathy for others? Maddie, dear, weren't you the one who was willing to sacrifice an entire village? You've lost all right to call me the Maddie. It's clear to me that you've grown into nothing but an evil, selfish witch. Do as you please. Hm. Actually, I changed my mind. I want you to stay quiet and just watch. Are you finally ready? Yes, ma'am. We're ready to submerge Unit 01. Then do it. This won't end with your survival, Cassandra. This will end with the complete destruction of everything we know and love. But I don't think you realize that. And if you do, then all hope is lost for you. Day 11, a leader's return. Ah, Shen. I was just looking for you. There's sort of an emergency. A leader got back from her trip to Ecclesia, but she won't talk to anyone. You've known Elida the longest. Maybe she'll talk to you? Elida, did you learn what I think you have? Oh dear, what do we do, Shen? Maybe we should give her some space? Elida, what's going on? Why won't you talk with us? She's hiding something. Something painful. I, I could use your help. This girl is doing what she does best. Being stubborn. Not even I can get her to anything. Shen! There it is. Finally, a word. Now that you said one. You should say more, preferably ones that describe your trip. I don't know where to start. Please, Alita, tell us everything, tell us what you learned. You have learned something, yes? Vivian must have told you something. I have. Vivian told me everything she knew, or at least I think. But I've been thinking on my way back. Maybe I should just keep this to myself. It would be better off this way. Well, now I really want to know. Yeah, you can't just say something so cryptic and asbestos not to a ask for more. Guys, settle down. Give her some space. Right, Sally. Sorry, Elena. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. I didn't mean it for it to sound exciting. It's not something you would you would want to know. But it's important, so I may as well tell you all of you. That's right. I met with Vivian. We spoke about a few things, but the most important of them being the purpose of Amethyst Grotto. She said at the very center of the earth, there's a machine called the core. She wouldn't go into detail about it, but she said this is where her power came from, as well as Anju and Hazuki's. Connected to the panel, there is a conduit that leads directly to the core itself. This is referring to the panel Talia and Keita found in Amethyst Grotto. Through Taylor's memories, I can see that she was visibly struck 
struck and frightened with what this place's purpose was. I couldn't understand it before, but now that has changed. Amethyst Grotto was created by the Garufins. It is unknown whether or not they created the core, however, it is clear that they have access to whatever it is. Nimir, along with her disciples, hid this place. This was to ensure that she prevented evil from gaining access to its power. Even with all these restrictions, she knew that humanity may have a need for its power, so she devised a test only for the pure of heart could pass. Over a decade ago, Kenneth and Talia were tricked into unlocking the seal, opening the door to one of the core's access panels. Now that that seal is broken, anyone has the ability to access this power, and that power is to delete everything and start over, a complete reset. Those two figures we met on top of the pyramid, Kieran and the girl with red hair, it was all their doing. What? I completed another reset? Back to zero? But why? They must want to reset the world, but that's the weird thing. Vivian said if the world is reset, everything is taken down. That would mean they would be erased too. Not only that, but once things are reset, events occur differently. So if something didn't play out the way they wanted, they could just hit the reset button and try again. But if that's what they wanted, why didn't they do so already? Unless there are prerequisites that they are trying to set up. There are. The machine takes energy to charge itself up. A process that Shen and I have already started. You must know what I'm talking about, right Shen? Was it the statues or the soul stone? You're close, but it's what happens with the soul stone if you bring it back to the grotto. Oh, I guess it's one of the, it's technically both. Oh, the statues! I know what she's talking about now, right, the statues that p appear, like, the statues that appeared when I defeated Kata, and a, a couple of other people that happened with as well. The statues are what hold the souls you bring back. The resetting core requires five souls to be brought back and set, sealed. Once that's done, all you have to do is activate it and everything will be reset. And currently, after everything we've done, two of the five slots have been filled. Only three more souls are required. So, yeah. Something's wrong here. I just don't understand the motivation. I can't understand it either. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. And I suppose I have the final piece. What? Are you seriously hiding something from us again? I didn't hide it. I wanted Alita to tell you first. However, I've known about Amethyst Grotto since I was a little girl. My mother told me all about it. Everything that's been said has been correct, except for one thing. It is true that when the resetting core is activated, the world is reborn, but the person who activated it, the one who stands in the center, is exempt from this erasure. Of course. Of course they, of course they are. <laughs> exempt? You're telling me they're giving the ability to roam the new world with memories of the previous one? That's correct. And I believe that the world has already been reset once before. No way. That that can't be. If that's true, then the person who did the, that is still roaming our world. And the reason why Talia and Kenneth were tricked to opening the grotto was because they wished for, to reset it once more. But both of them seemed to know about all of this. I thought only the one who activated the core kept their memories. That much can be ex explained if there was a third person to their group. The one who reset the world and re-recruited the henchmen. The mastermind behind everything that's happened up until now. It has to be Madame X. We know those two are working for her. There's also another possibility. Someone else. Shen. I mean, I know I have the ability to technically quote-unquote reset, but... <laughs> if you are reading this, then I hope... It has reached my descendants. Rejoice, my kin, as a new era has come upon us. In this letter, I bring knowledge that you must know and remember. I will tell you this hidden tale that I have hidden from everyone in this world. Out of nowhere, a meteor struck the deity, splitting the being into three. 
The meteor dragged one fragment far away. The second fragment was mortally wounded. It could not hold its form for long. It eventually disintegrated and fell apart. Or so, that's what I've told. Upon its destruction, a soul fell from the heavens. It has landed in front of me as if it were destined to. A voice called out from the wandering soul and said, Nimir, my child, please listen well. I don't have much time to speak. My name is Aldris, the third being in the trifecta of this world's beauty. Please bring my soul to the grotto's grounds. Lay my soul to rest and heal. Please, I beg you. I did it as I was told. I brought the soul to the grotto and sealed the soul of Arceus deep within. The voice then spoke once more. I shall lay here for the rest of eternity, until one day, when this world needs me again, I shall reawaken, and I will inhabit the being that set me free. Together we shall be bring peace to this world again. Keep this a secret, even from your family, until the time is right. Hope for the world is not yet lost. Quite recently, a trainer has visited me. I believe they said their name was Chen. This person hosts a soul of address. I felt it. No, I saw it. I saw him, resting within San Shen's soul. Address has been set free, and if that is the case, the world has already been reset. Please, bring Shen to the obelisk, for Address is to wake up from his sleep. It should present itself to you. To you and your family of the future, I bid you farewell one final time. I love you all, and good luck. Shen, I just want you to know that I trust and believe in you. But if Address is truly resting in your soul, then it could only be you. This is starting to bleed into the research Melly and I conducted at the Anthanium. Melly said that Madam X called Shen the Interceptor. Someone that can intercept destiny. This sounds right on brand for something like that. Does any of this ring a bell to you, Shen? You know, something really weird happened back in Ecclesia. We were panicking. We were panicking on the lower level when there wasn't any water, but then Shen started speaking in this weird voice. I know for a fact it wasn't Shen because Elita was caught off guard too. Right, Elita? I do remember that, but I don't believe Shen is being malicious about anything. I believe in them. I do as well. Shen has done nothing but good for us. There's no way Shen reset time for an evil purpose. Shen's been a real trooper through all of this. Couldn't they just get up and leave us if they didn't feel like helping us? I will say that Shen has certainly been useful and a pleasure to be around in Branor. Nothing points to them being malicious, but Shen's my friend, that's the bottom line. Even if they did reset time once, it had to be for good reason. Nothing points to them being malicious, but Shen, wh what do you have to say about this? If this really was your doing, you must have your memories of doing this, yes? I don't remember. Shen can't remember. It couldn't be them. You don't remember anything like this happening at all? That just won't do. Alexandra said you would keep your memories. Then again, you could be lying, but I don't really believe that. There's only one way to test this out. Let's all go to the obelisk on the outskirts of town. Jen, I believe this tower is what Nymir referred to as the obelisk. In her letter, she mentioned that she sensed kin kindness within you. I sense this as well. And as a result, I don't believe you are our enemy. But if you are, have one of the three souls of Arceus laying deep within you, then suddenly we have been given a great power and advantage. Truthfully, this is the main reason why I wanted to recruit and keep you under my wing. Yet, you keep this that fact hidden from us again. We didn't want to overload you all at once. Besides, Elita needed to learn the grotto on her own. This obelisk may, must be a bridge between Shen and Edress. If that's true, and if we awaken address within Shen, they will gain an enormous amount of power. Shen combined with the four we have now, Team Zen won't stand a chance. Shen, please intercept, interact with the obelisk. It should react to your presence. Shen, please be careful. Let's save the game right here. Uh, how long have I been recording? 24 minutes? Okay. The obelisk is the bridge, hmm? Huh? What if the obelisk is connected to the core that Elita mentioned before? And if it is, it must have some amount of absurd powder, just like Dorado. Is it really a okay to mess with stuff like this? Not like anyone's prepared to, anyway. Good luck, Shen. If you need help, we're here for you. This is... 
Uh huh. Don't look at me. I'm still trying to process what was said to me moments ago. In fact, I'm still trying to process the fact that all of this is even real. Doblis, the archetype. This is all sounds straight out of some JRPG. But no, I'm looking at it with my own two eyes. So yes, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Oops. Nice try. Haha. <laughs> stopped you. You stopped using Helter at the perfect moment. Nice. The horse agenda. I have no idea what's going to happen once you interact with that thing, but I just don't want to see anything bad happen to you. Please interact with the obelisk, Jen. It should react to your presence. Should being the key word here. You just are full of surprises, aren't you? There's a strange interface on the surface of the obelisk. Interact with it? Welcome to Obelisk, product of Garufa Inc. Please be patient as we prefer our t first time setup. Loading. Your data has been uploaded and your soul has been tracked. Please proceed, Interceptor. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this right here, guys. A little bit short, uh, but it's uh, 12 o'clock at night now, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> stop. <laughs> I still need to uh, edit the video and upload it, prepare to upload it for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.